Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the rest of my baby haul part two and I apologize if my voice sounds super weird. It's because I'm trying to get over a cold from the past couple of days and I've been so congested to so just bear with me, but I'm going to give you baby haul part two. This one isn't going to be as much as the first one. However, I am going to be including things like stuff that you probably won't need and things that you do need in this video as well because I had a lot of requests for that. I'm going to kind of incorporate that in this video as well. I'm going to do that towards the second part of it. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with the haul. And the first thing that I want to talk about is this um, Jersey Sleep Bag by Ergo Pouch. And this is what it looks like. I feel like the sleep sacks are probably one of the best inventions ever. I read so many stories, so many things where kids have suffocated with blankets and just all kinds of stuff that it really creeps me out. It freaks me out. I can't sleep over it. So Cooper is usually in a sleep sack at night. That way I don't have to worry about blankets. Um, he is getting a little bit older to where he doesn't necessarily have to have one, but whenever they're younger and even, even at his age right now, I just feel safer with him in a sleep sack. So this is the Ergo Pouch. And Ergo Pouch actually sent this to me, but I wanna tell you guys why it's a little bit different than the rest of them. Besides the fact that they have extremely cute patterns. The other thing is that when you go online to order, you can pick the TOG, and I know that T-O-G. This is a 1.0, and you go online and you pick like what kind of sleeping temperature your baby has at night. Um, I live in Texas. It doesn't really get freezing cold outside here. Of course, when, during the winter, it will get a little bit cooler, um, and then we have the heater on, so the temperature indoors stays about the same, but you can go online and put in the temperature of what your house is going to be and I really like that because I always kind of worry when he's in the sleep sack well maybe he's too hot and you know I just I don't know I worry about whether he's too cold too hot you know the blankets in his face so this will solve all of those problems now I picked this one out of course it is gray but the fabric is very very light and breathable um, it's so soft and it's stretchy it's just, it's so cozy. Now, this size right here is for an 8 to 24 month old. So, I got this size because I thought this was the size that they would probably be in the longest. I figured Cooper could wear it now, and then once Cooper is grown out of it, then the new baby can also wear it. This is a baby must-have for me. Um, I feel like people give way too many blankets for baby showers. You don't really need that many blankets. You need a couple here and there, but for the most part, Part, you're gonna use blankets when they're sleeping and when they're sleeping I feel like they should be in a sleep sack so if you guys are interested definitely check out the link below for the ergo pouch I love this and I'm actually gonna go ahead and insert a clip right now real quick of Cooper and I'm gonna show you kind of what it looks like on and kind of just how it works real quick for diaper bags is a diaper bag backpack. I will not carry a diaper bag tote anymore. I don't care how cute it is. It is just not practical when you have arms full of kids, um, a carrier, um, just all kinds of other things. I have a four-year-old and then I will have Cooper who will be almost two when the baby gets here and then a baby in a carrier. I don't have time. I don't, I can't have a strap on my shoulder with the thing falling over. I just can't. So a backpack is a huge must have. And this one that I'm about to show you is adorable. I will have it linked below. You can get it off of Amazon. It is very reasonably priced. It is not going to be super expensive, but this thing has the works. Okay. This is what it looks like. It's a pretty decent size. I just love how sleek it looks. Um, it's just, I just love the color of it, first of all. It's like the perfect color for me. It blends into the walls, actually, which is, it's like my favorite color, honestly. This is by Mom Moore. So I will, like I said, leave their link in the description box below. They actually sent this to me as well. I'm about to start carrying this. I, I like to switch out my bags back and forth, back and forth. Let me show you all the bells and whistles that this thing has. First of all, 
it's got so many pouches on it, okay? But on the sides right here, it's insulated. So if you have cold bottles, if you have warm bottles um, that you want to heat up before you leave the house, that I used to do that a lot because Cooper, no, it was Carter would only drink warm milk <laughs> if it was cold, not happening. So yeah, it's got this one, this insulated pouch right here. It also has a pocket right there so you can slip the bottle in it if you want to. And then there's another one on this side. This is not um, insulated, but it is an extra pouch in case you want to keep something in there. It's got a pouch right here. Never know what you might need that for. And it's got one right here. This is the big pouch in the back. So this is the main part that you'll actually open. Inside, it's got the changing pad cover. And then, as you can see right here, it's got all of these pockets. So it's got a huge pocket here, which you could probably put the changing cover into. It's got a netted mesh pocket here. It's got another pocket here. And then it's got pockets even <laughs> inside of here. It's got a pocket here. It's just, it's crazy. And you can actually access this pocket. You can access this pocket from the side pouch. Um, and then, I'm telling you guys, this is like the mother of all diaper bags. Now it's a magnetic closure right here, which is awesome because you don't have to worry about like zipping it back up or anything. You just flap it over and the magnets stick back. Um, see? So it's got two more pouches in the front. It's got this one up here in the top. It's wet proof in here, so you could actually put like dirty clothes or wet clothes or something and it won't mess up the cloth because it's kind of like waterproof in there. And then it's got this pocket right here in the front, which has more storage. So all of this right here, um, yeah, it just has so much storage in it. So I would definitely recommend this bag. I think it is adorable. I just love how sleek it looks. Definitely check out the Mom More backpack diaper bags. I will leave a link in the description box below. A diaper bag backpack is definitely a must have if you are a new mom. Just a couple other things that I wanted to mention that I bought. Um, these are some Burt cloths and these are by the brand Copper Pearl. I will leave them below. I ordered them off of Amazon. This is what they look like and of course as you guys probably saw by the theme of the nursery I've got a lot of these colors in it. Um, these were like $20 for a set of three. I don't feel that I need a ton of burp cloths. It was always something that people will give you for your baby shower and you don't need a ton but what you do need is some really nice ones so instead of getting a bunch of really thin crappy ones you need some really nice thick ones that are long enough to go over the back of your shoulder that are thick enough to cover your whole shoulder because that baby is going to be spitting up more than just this part you know like some of them are like super thin you need a thick one you need a durable one and a cute one so these are really really nice you're gonna be washing burp cloths all the time so I may order like one more package but I just feel like they're really nice to have and you're actually gonna use them rather than buying a whole bunch of really thin crappy ones so definitely invest in some nice burp cloths so this right here is a cotton muslin car seat canopy. This is from um, Spearmint Love, Love, Spearmint Baby or something. I think it's Spearmint Baby, but the website is Spearmint Love. I'll have it below. I have been so excited about getting a new car seat cover and the one that I had before, um, I, gosh, I don't even know what happened to it. I have a nursing cover that transitions into a um, car seat cover, but it's a little bit girly looking. Um, so, of course, I didn't really want to use that. This is adorable. This has like little cactus and plants and like succulents on it. And the best thing about this, okay guys, I bought this myself. I'm just super excited about it. Um, they did not send this to me. Um, it's, it's breathable. So, whenever I would have the car seat canopy on, I was always worried about, oh my gosh, is he hot under there? With both boys, I was always paranoid about them being too hot. And in Texas, the weather gets really hot, so you have to be very careful about it. Well, these are super breathable. Look at this, and look how cute this pattern is. Is that not adorable? So they go like this, and it has a little um, stretchy elastic around the bottom so that it will um, squeeze around the bottom of the car seat. And then the closure for the front is, where is it? 
I can find it. Here it is. Okay. So it buttons right here just like this. And actually I think it's, is it magnetic? Yes, it's magnetic. You can just open it like that if you want to. And you don't have to worry about zipping it or buttoning it back up. It's just, it just sticks right back together. That is awesome. So I was so excited. The main thing that drew me to this was the print. I mean, how adorable is that? But the other thing is that it's super breathable. It's not super heavy. It's just that muslin, um, really soft, breathable material. So that was definitely, like when I saw that, I had been eyeing it for a while. And I will leave their link below if you guys are interested in ordering one of those too. Of course, they have cute girl ones and stuff. But when I saw the succulent one, I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, a few more clothing items. I've got um, this little bro outfit from The Gap. And um, all the stuff at the Gap the other day was like 40% off, so I think this was like $8 or something. And then I got this little hat to go with it. And the hat, y'all, this hat ended up being 67 cents. Can you believe that? It was on sale, or maybe less than that. It was 97 cents. It was 97 cents. And then it was another 40% off or something. So it was like so cheap. And then I was like, oh my gosh, those go so cute together. So I grabbed those. And then when I was at Old Navy the other day, I saw this one right here. It says Little Rascal. And it was $2.99. I got some pants that will pair perfectly with this that are black and lime green. Um, and I didn't realize it till I got home. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's going to be the cutest little outfit. And then I got this gray one with the little panda bear face on it. And this was $10. And then they were another 40% off, I think. So that is all the clothing. The new clothing, I think, that I've picked up lately. Um, I'm trying not to go ham on buying clothes yet. Main stuff I'm buying is zero to three months. Because I know they're going to come out with new stuff in the store. And I'm going to want to buy that stuff. So I'm trying to like pace myself and only buy zero to three months. Um, clothing for now. So I wanted to go over a few more things that are must-haves for me and things that I didn't need. So this is just what worked for me and my kids that I found really helpful. So if you're a first-time mom or you're thinking about buying somebody a gift that they're really going to use, these are some important ones. So first of all, a huge baby bathtub. I hated the first baby bathtub that I got for Cooper. I researched baby bathtubs for days and weeks and I finally settled on one Fisher Price one that like vibrated and whatnot. Never use the vibrating function, okay? First of all, bathtubs like that take up so much room. Where are you gonna store a huge bath? tub like that if you don't have a lot of room in your bathroom. My bathroom now doesn't have a huge closet so I don't have, I wouldn't have room to do that and if you leave it in the tub you have constantly have to take it in and out of the tub when the other kids take a shower or a bath which gets water all over the floor. You can't hang it on the back of the door because then you can't shut the door. It's, it, it's just ridiculous. So let me show you the best, the best option for that. And that is the blooming baby bath. I got this with Cooper and it is probably the best invention. Well, I've said this a few times. This is one of the best inventions ever. So this thing just sits down in the sink, okay? Just like this. And you just lay your baby in it. It's super soft. And Cooper loved his baths all the time. It was his, like he never ever cried during bath time. He loved it. This thing stays nice and warm. Um, and then it smells so clean. So you don't have to, I mean, you probably would have to worry about this thing mildewing, but what I would do is I would take a command hook and I would put it in my laundry room. And after every use, I would dry this. So you use it, you throw it in the dryer and you dry it off. And then I would hang it back on the command hook in the laundry room. Then like once a week, I would wash it and then dry it and hang it back up on the command hook. Never once did I have a problem with it smelling like mildew or anything. You just really have to take care of it. And I just, I feel like it's one of the best inventions ever. It's very easy to store. So after I had Cooper and he wasn't taking a bath in this anymore, I just put it up in the top of my cabinet. It folds up. You don't have to worry about storing some huge bathtub. So a blooming bath is a must have a huge must have in my opinion. Okay, another must have is a rock and play. And if you guys saw my nursery tour, you will see that I had a rock and play. I have it sitting right here next to me. If you don't know what it looks like, I will leave one in the description box below, but my kids pretty much slept in that for the first couple of months. Not necessarily at night, but just during the day. That's just where they napped. You can move it back and forth wherever you want to move it. So 
sound like a smoke alarm is <laughs> going off in someone else's house. So yes, a rock and play is one. I don't want to spend too much time on that, but you definitely need one if you're having a baby. The other thing is a Solly wrap. Um, I cannot could not live without my Sully wrap. Um, mainly with Cooper. I was able to use it for a little while with Carter. I didn't get it until he was a little bit bigger. Cooper lived in this thing. I could clean in it. I could vacuum in it. I could I could do whatever I wanted to do in this and he just slept. These are the best. Oh, and it smells really good too because I washed it. Um, but I will leave a link for the Sully wrap in the description box below. I am all about carrying my baby because I need my free hands to take care of the other two and that's just the best place that Cooper would sleep so I'm really hoping that Cash will be the same way. So I think that that is all that I have. Um, I've, I could probably go on and on about things that you actually need versus things that you don't need whenever you have a baby. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave links for everything in the description box below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!